What's up guys? Today we're going to be checking out videos. If you're like me, every time you go to watch a YouTube video, you see this guy promoting this product. Today we're finally going to check it out. I'm on the $97 version of videos. I paid for this with my own money. This video is not sponsored as always. I always tell you exactly what I think about it. And so we are going to check it out today. I'm going to show you what you get for your $97. So here we are on the videos platform. So if you're not clear on what videos is, it is a series of templates that you can use and customize to kind of create cooler looking videos. So for your $97, I think you get about 250 templates in videos, but they're constantly asking you to upgrade to their monthly plan to access way more templates. Um, I think they're saying, it's over a thousand templates that you can get if you go to the monthly plan. But for the $97 one-time fee, this is what you get, the 250 templates. So let me show you how it works. Let's go over to category and let's check out an alpha template. Now these alpha templates mean that they're gonna have a transparent background over them. So you can export the uh, animating text or whatever's animating in these templates, you export it with a transparent background. And then in like any other program, you can overlay it on top of other video. So that's what these alpha ones do. So let's just pick one here. I'm gonna hit customize and we get a bigger preview of the video here. Now let's hit customize this video. So here we have four different places that we can customize the video. You'll see number two is Merry Christmas. It's this big center text. Um, and then you can modify the top circular text, this tiny text here and the Happy New Year underneath. Now we can modify the color of all of these separate elements Right now they're all the same kind of off-white grayish tone, but we could change these colors by clicking on the swatch and you either have just like this basic color palette or you can really put in any single color. You can use hex codes. You can see a comparison between what the color was originally and what it is now. Let's just make it a little funkier. Okay, now we're gonna hit next step. Now this next step is to customize the audio. The customization of the audio only means that you can either have the audio on or have the audio off. It's not really a lot of customization at all with this feature. Um, so I'm gonna include the audio. And then over here is the live preview. Now the animation has to render out. So you can't actually see what it's really gonna look like. All they do is give you these four still frames from the animation. And that's all you have to go on before you render it out. So I'm gonna hit create your video. If I were on the pro plan, I guess I could add a watermark to protect myself if I were doing this on behalf of a client and they hadn't paid me yet. We don't need that for this. I'm just gonna hit create your video. And now you just sit and wait for it to render. Now, while we're doing that, let me just point out a few things about this template. One, I can change what the text says, but I cannot change the font of it. So it is kind of just like what you see is what you get. And there's not a lot of customization options on the font. The color customization is great because I could individually section out all the different components of the animation and make them any color I wanted. So that was good. And then in terms of the audio, it's either on or off. So I didn't really think that was great. The other thing that I wanted to point out is that it doesn't give you exporting options. If it's a, video with an alpha channel, like what we're exporting now, you get a QuickTime file. But if you do something that's full screen and does not require an alpha channel, it gives you an MP4. You can't change the resolution of it. You can't change the size of it. You can't, you can't make any other technical modifications to the specifications of your output, which isn't amazing in my opinion, but what they give you is high res and sufficient. So there's that. Okay, here is my downloaded video. It's five seconds long. And of course it has that kind of Christmas theme music on it that I can't change. Okay, so that's the first one with the alpha channel. Let's move on to a different one. Let's try like a text animation next. 
So I'm going to head over to category and title. Here we go. And here are all the title animations. And again, we can just hover our cursor over the thumbnail to preview, which I do really like that a lot. I think that's a great feature. Let's try this flat circular intro. I'm going to hit customize. Next up, we get a bigger preview of it. We can hear the audio. Okay. Let's customize it here. Is videos worth it? Let's leave that as our text. Now we can choose these colors. Let's pick something kind of more my speed. Now let's wait for this preview. Okay, what I'm noticing that's really weird about this is these, this is not the color I selected. Am I losing my mind? Oh, it didn't save my colors. What happened? Let me try that again. It, it, it's not changing the colors that I just chose. You saw me do that, right? Am I crazy? Okay, this time the colors stayed. And we're waiting for this live preview. Okay, let's just create the video. Maybe the preview's not working. Let's see if I can, when we actually spit it out, if it gets the color I want. This one's rendering a lot faster. I think it's probably because there isn't an alpha channel, but again, it's got the right text, but the wrong colors. Okay, it's ready for download. This one's three seconds long. It's an MP4 as opposed to a QuickTime, which the one with the alpha channel was. The quality of the image is beautiful. Honestly, it's like really high res. I'm super happy with that, but it is not the colors I picked. I don't know what happened. I don't know. That's very glitchy. I don't, I don't know. It says I could customize the colors. You guys saw me do it. It didn't work. So I don't know what's going on with that one. Maybe it's just like a bad template. But now, you know, I told you you got, I told you you got 250 templates with videos for your 97. Maybe we should call it 249 because that one did not work. Let's try one of the logo animations because the logo animations are, in my mind, like some of the cooler looking templates, I thought. Let's see how these work. Let's just preview. This drone delivery one is kind of cute. I'm going to hit customize because the logo I have is longer than it is square. And I'm curious if this animation will accommodate a different um, dimension logo than what this template is showing me. So let's try this. So the first thing I need to do is upload my logo. Let me do that real quick. All right, the live preview is taking forever to populate. I'm just gonna create the video. Okay, that took an insanely long time to render. Let's download it. It's cute. It honestly, it's really, it's cute. Um, the quality of the animation is great. I feel like it looks really crystal clear. So I do like that a lot. Let's check out one more type of video animation. This is going to be live action and it's actually a very cool effect. That is something that video shows a lot in their ads and I'm sure that you're curious about. If you go on over to category, we're gonna go down to live action 
and you see these clips here of people wearing t-shirts with logos. They use motion tracking technology. So let's check this out. Let's customize this video. First thing we need to do is upload our logo. And to me, what's amazing is you can actually change the color of the t-shirt. I'm gonna put her in a white t-shirt. So here is the t-shirt video. Let's check the quality of this. I have to say it does a pretty good job of motion tracking. Motion tracking software is not something that's brand new, but I do feel the technology is evolving and making things look more and more realistic. And this one is pretty good, I have to say. I do wish I could have scaled up the logo so that it was bigger on the shirt. Um, and the shirt does look, if you really look at the edges, you can tell that I changed the color of it. You can see that there's kind of an edge around the border of the shirt if you're being real nitpicky, but overall I would say this is pretty good. So what do I think of videos? There's some good things here. I really like how easy it is to use. I mean, it really is just drag and drop, click, 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 and you've got your video. The output of the video, while it's annoying that you can't customize your output settings, there's no options, um, the quality of the actual image when you do download it is really good. So those are some really good things about videos. What I don't love about videos is obviously, uh, you saw that one template. I couldn't change the colors on it and and I wonder how many other templates I would have that problem with. So there's definitely some glitchiness in here, which I don't love. I also can't believe how long it took things to render. It's really frustrating how long things take to render and you can't work on another project while one is rendering unless you upgrade to the pro plan. So for that $97 plan, you know, that's not great. I also don't think, you know, they say everything's customizable. It's not very customizable. I can't choose my fonts. The audio customizability is just on or off. I mean, that's very disappointing. And I don't know, I just, I don't think it does enough for that $97 or more. Now, if you subscribe to the monthly videos program where you get all the different templates, let me know in the comments if you think my viewers would find that worthwhile because I can't speak to that. All I can show you is what I've done here today. And I, I would say it's not great if you just needed a logo animation for your YouTube channel, for your business, for anything, I think you'd be better off going on Fiverr and paying someone like 20 bucks who uses this program to create your logo animation and spit it back out to you and just be done with it. This pro program for me is really for someone who wants to be like a Fiverr creator and just do a lot of volume where you're rendering out logo animations for people that order them on Fiverr and they're only paying you 20, 25 bucks to do it um, and that's it. But the problem with that is that if you have a client on Fiverr who says, can you use this font? or can you make it this specific color? You can't maybe do that with videos. You don't get enough customization, in my opinion, to satisfy a picky client. So that's a drawback as well. So I have to say, I cannot give videos the big Jen Jager thumbs up. I think there's some cool stuff in here. Like I said, I really love the image quality that you get in the end. I love the motion tracking on this t-shirt shot, but for me, it's just not enough. It just doesn't do enough to make me want to recommend that you spend the money on it. So that's my opinion on videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what else you want me to check out. You always have a lot of ideas for me and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again.